Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is not the motorway junction as you last saw it. This is the motorway junction after I've been playing around with it for a bit. The roundabout just here just kept snarling up, just as bad as the one over there has been doing. So what I've essentially done is, all right, so if you're here, you want to go in one of three directions. You want to go straight on, you want to go left, or you want to go right. You've no need to ever want to go back down this way. So now you can go that left, you can go straight on, or you can take this slightly bumpy road and come around over here. This junction over here, straight on, that way, or round and over here. This junction, down and across, over here, or you take this really high road, up and round. If you're coming this way, you go straight on there, straight on there, or you take this one, this road, which double dives under the main road and brings you up over here. So, I've got roads that connect, depart on the inside, arrive, depart on the outside, arrive on that side, so the left-hand lanes are nice and clean for getting where you want to go as quickly as possible. So rather than having lefts and lefts, I've got lefts and rights for getting people to, so basically for splitting. Um, and this appears to be working, ultimately. I've got traffic going where I want it to go. I've got probably some, you see these roads here and here are particularly quiet at the moment, but overall, that's moving. So the lesson I want to try and apply to this one. Now, the last thing I tried in this one is I've converted it to a normal road and then put traffic lights in all these locations in the vague hope that it will behave. And it's still not behaving. Um, I've still got buses, bizarrely, coming all the way out from over there, despite the fact that she'd only be going up and down over here, because of some quirk of fate of the routing, and garbage is beginning to pile up again. Who knew I wish where that was happening? You're just telling me the garbage is piling up isn't necessarily that useful. I mean, do we have... No, we've got vast incinerish capabilities, and hell, I'm even emptying that landfill. We have a work problem and lack of commercial district, which we'll do in a bit, but yes, let's... Now we spent the last episode gutting and rebuilding this, we are going to be spending this episode gutting and rebuilding this. Because this is the big thing about CD games, particularly things like City Skylines. It's about putting yourself in a position whereby your road network is in some way, shape or form rational, i.e. it works. And the roundabouts I've got here are simply carrying too much traffic for them to be considered rational. So, we have our highway coming in, and we want to convert that, what originally was a five-way split out from the highway, and it simply wasn't managing it. We were just getting far too much traffic, we were just going in horrible locations. So, we're going to turn this into a selection of three roads, and then work out ways of getting people to move between them. Now, the fact that we've got an MTR station underneath here is going to complicate things a little bit, um, because I simply don't want to have to... You see, I've already had to weave this one around the tunnel digging I was doing over here. Now, I am going to want to be using tunnels over here. So we are going to be having to look at moving this section of line. So let's grab subway. So there's a station there and a station over there. Okay, so let's move this as far back as we go and we are just going to throw a right hand angle like that. So it'll be a little bit annoying for our trains but I'm pretty sure they will cope. Right. So, we've got our selection of roads. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. Let's just trim that one back a little bit, just to give ourselves a little bit more space to work with. So, how do we want to pair these up? They will show a form. Okay, so that's a route across there. There's a route, and there's a route. So we will grab our expensive six-lane road. 
Well, no, let's go down to the cheap one, actually, because we're not going to be putting anyone, any houses along these roads. So, you just come out back a little bit further. Here, here, and then we'll plug that in later. Now we want to connect these two, so we'll switch to the arc tool, come out, come up, give me a straight line as we go across here, and then switch back to an arc. Possibly do better. I don't mind too much having a bit of a kink on that. Okay, done. Now we get to here. Put a bit of elevated row between the two. Do the best we can to connect it up. Okay, so that bit's sorted. Let's connect our bit of our way up. Where have we got? There we go. Okay, so like that, and like that, and we'll reverse the direction of you. Yeah, let's uh, make that just a little bit smoother, shall we? Right, so they sort themselves out. Now we've got a load of Turning lanes there, you lot should all just be straight ahead. Straight through onto here, straight underneath, and all the way across. Now, now we need to start working our way to connecting these up in a way that is vaguely rational. So, these are slower roads, so we don't need to worry too much about their connections. So we will go ahead and we will get two-lane road, an enormous park there. I'm just going to nudge you just over a little bit for me, please. I am going to, while I remember, string a path between the two of them. Let's see if we can get there, just a little cross it a little bit quicker. So back to roads. <clears throat> I would like one of these from there. Do I want to go from there to there? Bottom of the road. Is that too tight, too narrow, too close to get chosen? Actually no. That will be preferable. Because there aren't any other junctions nearby. Right, that lets you go between those roads. Now we need to connect up this connection with a, this little lot. Hmm, I'm thinking that probably what we want are some one way roads. Am I just making two lane roundabout for myself? No, part of me is tempted to indeed just put in a sequence of roads you can just go back and forth on as freely as you like and just see How it copes for a bit. No, I'm not so really sure. Where's the pink bus? 
beginning a loop. Why are you stopping to give way? Probably because I should just make that one junction, that little extra strip of road doesn't actually help anyone. So, I mean, that's taking some pressure off. That's working, and that's working. The question is, where else? Let's have a look. You lot. A load of cars are apparently trying to turn left there. I've been rooting for something before I changed it, so. Don't think. Yeah, that's pillar. So. While I'm not getting any, any backups anywhere else in the system, I am getting a backup here. I've got much more traffic is coming in and wanting to go places than that junction can withstand. So, if I turn those lights off, it turns into a bit of a mess. Okay, so don't mind that little traffic lights, so don't mind the traffic lights over here. Now, this is a situation where because we've got people turning left and right and they're both in the same lane, going up to a larger road small four lane road. Potentially gives me more options. It means I've not got people queuing in the same lane. Now, ideally, there shouldn't be anyone who needs to do a UE around here. So I have a lot of people hmm. Right, out of interest. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Very much not what I wanted to do. Out of interest. Where? Alright, you're trying to go down there. Oh, okay. So it's people joining, coming off here. They want to get over there. Or coming here and turning around. Okay. So there's a few people exploiting it a bit. But everyone who's coming down here and turning around is because they're actually trying to get to that location. I wonder if these slips aren't causing me more problems than I think. Okay. 
put some movie out there once. And see how the time goes. We need blockages up here. People switching lanes a lot. I'd really love it if I could make. Yeah, it's not going to let me. That left turn only. I wonder if I. Yes, that does what I want to do. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. Straight and left. It's okay, that's working. I don't mind people weaving and bouncing around there. What I want them is not stopping other people from getting in that line, so. <clears throat> You're instead weaving and bouncing down the over there. Okay, I've just moved the lane change problem further back. Let's um, just double check. You're saying that all three lanes can turn left there. So they're all branching off down there, and heading on that way. It occurs to me that I could save myself a bit of bother. No, no, I couldn't. I was thinking if we're going to branch the, the right hand side of here and just come up that way, that would save a lot of trouble. But I would probably have to just. No, I think that would save a lot of trouble. No, I still need to dive. I would still need to do a hard double dive to get it underneath that road, so let's not bother. Maybe... Let's see what that does. I'm leaving the other one for a bit, that I should double check whether or not it um, is behaving or not. So that lane change is gone. I have got people diving across over here. But I don't mind. Because they're diving out of the way. So changing away from traffic rather than changing into traffic. It's absolutely fine by me. You see the traffic problems I've got with people despawning. Traffic's busy in here. But not hellish. Yes, you can get to that loop in many other places. It occurs to me that trying to get that stop was just a few too many problems here. I'm going to turn the lights off. And priority signs. Give way on both of those. Exactly the same here and here. Uh, priority signs. Probably learn out, learn. Is there anything coming out? 
Static priority signs does just turn the traffic lights off. Okay. So that has priority. Just to get the trucks out of that that much quicker. I don't mind the little bit of backup here. I want this lot going faster. Okay. So I don't appear to have any major queues, other than a few people diving across lanes. Yeah, it's because of that left hand turn there. Okay, well, it's not too bad. So there's a little bit of a traffic snarl up. And people are shunting and sorting themselves out into which lanes they want to be in. So I will do what I've been doing previously in other places. Tweaking some of these a little bit. I'm assuming that plugged in there. I don't think it did. Let's move it over just a little bit. Plugs in just a little earlier. It should give me a bit more space. I'm puzzled as to why you will not let me do that. Apparently I can do it that way though. Just to get the splitting slightly better off. Sorting the lane changes out. Hmm. It's far too much lane changing going on there. Right. Yeah, that's bizarre locations for snarl-ups you get when you're managing the road AI in this game. It tried to work out where it wants and does not want to lane change. Try that. Well, the problem is there's so many, there's only one straight on lane there, so. Still only one straight on lane. This will just make costs a little bit. It's as if you don't need three lanes of traffic coming off there. I'm very much like it if I could have that centre lane. If I try and change the lane, what is it you whinge about? Activated the highway rule system. Okay. 
options. Passes may ignore lane arrows. Oh, you didn't. Going straight may change lane to junctions. Enable despawning, advanced view, enable highway lane specific railroad. Turn those off. And we go to change lane arrows. You may also go straight on there. Uh, plane. No, no, I'm pretty sure I was, I was entirely happy with you going straight on and left. But we'll see. It's moving at least. It doesn't quite help the way they change lanes. Is they come to a complete dead halt until they can change lanes? They don't gently drift like a normal car would. Right, and that is not a traffic jam. I, be honest with you, listeners, viewers, and other people who may or may not be partaking of this, maybe you're licking it. That's how you're understanding what I got. It's some kind of lick-based braille. Um, I don't quite understand how this system is better than the roundabout I had before. Everything I was telling me about the roundabout should work better, but this system of traffic lights and not traffic lights and bridges going across just seems to be working better. People can get where they need to go quicker and faster, so any across traffic is not snarling up the junctions and what I've got going between the locations. I mean, it looks awful. But it's working. So I'll take that. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another episode of me staring at traffic in a puzzled and slightly curious manner. So if you have any comments, questions, queries, or anything like that, put them in the comments section down below. be very interested in hearing what you think might be going on. Now we've turned that particular road thing off. We'll have to wait and see. But next episode, you'll note that we now have a rather healthy residential and commercial demand. So we will be building a new district. And we're going to be building our city centre. And we're going to get on that. Because we are beginning to lose people because of the uh, lack of residential. So there's probably some kind of demands not being met. So we're going to be building our new city centre. So that's next episode. Please remember to like and subscribe.